you here? Hello, hello. How come you have, oh, you have already the, the link so you can join. Welcome, people. It's nice to have you one more time. Okay. Welcome. It's nice to have you again. We have Tuesday. We're still here learning English. It's nice to have you. And I wish everybody is okay at home, healthy, and ready to keep learning on this thing that is called learning English here on Zoom. Okay, we're going to have a little bit of practicing, a little bit of extra practice on the material that we have. So welcome. It's nice to have you again. Okay, let me see. I think it's this one. Bam, 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 bam. Give me a minute so I can get the presentation. Because I have it ready, but this thing is, is like loading. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh, yesterday. That was yesterday. Okay. Oops. Okay. Give me a minute, give me a minute. So we can start with this one. Let me show you what's gonna be today's agenda, as you may see. Here we have section five. What are you doing? Present continuous with double H question. We started this this thing on this. Teacher. Stephanie? La tienda. Oh, todavía no la he tomado, Stephanie. Okay. okay. Welcome, welcome. No se preocupe. Thank you so much. Welcome. Thank it's you. Nice to have you. <laughs> no problem. Okay. Rosa Moreno. Good evening. How are you? Mm -hmm. Are you ready? Are you ready for today's class? Yes. Yes. You ready? You ready? Salista? Yes, ready? yes, yes. Perfect. Perfect. That's good. <laughs> welcome. It's nice to have you. Vamos a seguir trabajando un poquito with present continuous. Okay. So we can we can have more information about how do we use this present continuous and how this thing help us to, to communicate the activities that we do. Okay. Yes, here la Okay, I'm sorry. Mateo Okay, thank you so much. Okay. Okay. It's the Mateo, right? Mateo, Mateo. Why, why? Okay. So, uh, thank you so much. Welcome. Welcome. It's nice to have you one more time. It's not raining today, right, Pedro? Not raining. Not raining today, right, Pedro? Hi, teacher. Good evening. It's Welcome. not raining. Not raining. That's not good. That's not good. Yes. Uh, um, I miss I miss the rain. I miss the rain because it's the weather gets humid and somehow cold, right, which is good. So, uh, but but that's not today. Si lavo las, las blankets, right? Si lavo las, las sábanas. Good for you. Good for you, right? Okay. The weather was very nice. Yes. Right. Um, welcome. Let me see. Uh, Jancy is here. Welcome. It's nice to have you on this beautiful day. Welcome, welcome, welcome. This is the thing we are going to work on, Mr. Paloma. And this is class number 14. Okay, so welcome one more time and let me take the attendance. Okay, attendance list. Anna Cáceres. Anna Cáceres. Present teacher. Thank you, Anna, and welcome. Anna Xiomara Barrera. Present teacher. Thank you so much. Angel León. Present teacher. Thank you, Angel. Welcome. Nice to have you. Blanca Ferón. Carlos Alexis Nerio. Carmen. Carmen Romero. No Carmen today? Okay. Claudia Paredes. Present. Good evening, teacher. Good evening and welcome, Claudia. Dalia Hernández. Present, teacher. Thank you, Dalia. Welcome. David Cepeda. Present, teacher. Perfect. Good evening. Welcome. Eva Ordóñez. Present, teacher. 
Thank you, Eva. Good evening. Griselda Estrada. Griselda, no? Okay. Hugo Orellana. Good evening, teacher. Thank you, Hugo. Welcome. Jenny Pineda. Jose Oswaldo Hernandez. I'm here, teacher. Good evening. Nice to have you again. Karina Hernandez. Present, teacher. Thank you. Kathy Guzman. Present, teacher. Thank you. Good evening and welcome. Um, Kenya Romero. Uh, da Marvin Cordova. Melissa Lopez. Present. Thank you so much and welcome. Mo Moises Roda. Moises. Hello, Moises. No. Okiroki. Pedro Ramirez. I'm here, teacher. Good evening, Pedro. Welcome. Ricardo Flores. I'm here, teacher. Wonderful. Welcome. Nice to have you. Rosa Moreno. Present teacher. Thank you, Rosa. Nice to have you. Rosa Barrientos de Márquez. Rosa Barrientos de Márquez. Oh, okay. Rosario del Carmen Rivas. Rosario del Carmen Rivas. Zaira. Zaira Carrillo. Stephanie, you're here, right, Stephanie? Present, teacher. Thank you so much. Good evening. Um, Valeria Gomez. Valeria Gomez. Yancy Alvarado. I'm here, teacher. Thank you, Yancy, and welcome. Angie de la Concepción Urbina. I'm here, teacher. Wonderful. Thank you so much for being here, everybody. Welcome to this English class here on Zoom. And let's begin with the content that we have available for today, which is a lot. We're going to cover as much as we can. And the first thing we're going to start with present continuous. Okay. So I will play the video, listen, and watch. Good night. Excuse me. That was Abraham. I'm here. Okay, thank you so much, Abraham. Welcome. It's nice to have you one more time. Abraham, what is your first name? Moises. Moises, thank you. I got you here. Thank you so much. Okay, one more time. Let's listen and watch. This is the video. I think it's here. Hi everyone, in this class you'll learn to ask and answer present continuous questions. Additionally, we will practice a conversation which illustrates how this topic is used in a real life setting. Let's get started by listening to a conversation between a boy and his mother, which illustrates WH questions in context. Let's listen and practice. Hi mom. What are you doing, Steve? I'm cooking. Why are you cooking now? It's two o'clock in the morning. Well, I'm really hungry. What are you making? Pizza. Mmm, pizza. Now I'm getting hungry. Let's eat. Now, let's try to make sense of present continuous WH questions. We will <laughs> typically use present continuous WH questions whenever we want to get information from an action that is in progress. For example, what are you doing right now? To form WH questions, we need to follow this formula. WH word plus verb to be plus subject plus the verb plus ing plus some kind of complement. If we look at the images on the screen, you can see a few WH questions. Let's analyze the first one. What's Victoria doing? 
we have a WH word, what? Then we have the verb to be, is. After that, we have the subject, Victoria. After that, we have the uh, verb in its ing form. And then we have a question mark. Then, of course, you can see the question being answered. She's sleeping now. Now, we're going to listen to the rest of the questions and answers. Let's listen and repeat. Los Angeles, 4 a.m. What's Victoria doing? She's sleeping right now. Mexico City, 6 a.m. What's Marcos doing? It's 6 a.m., so he's getting up. New York City, 7 a.m. What are Sue and Tom doing? They're having breakfast. Brasilia, 9 a.m. What's Celia doing? She's going to work. London, 12 noon. What are James and Anne doing? It's noon, so they're having lunch. Moscow, 3 p.m. What's Andre doing? He's working. Bangkok, 7 p.m. What's Permsak doing? He's eating dinner right now. Tokyo, 9 p.m. What's Hiroshi doing? He's watching television. Your city. What are you doing? It's... So I'm... The last thing that I would like for you to do is to look at the images again and write questions and answers about them. For example, what's Celia wearing? Celia's wearing a red suit. After you complete this assignment, please share your work in our discussion forums. Okay, so that was... Oh my gosh. My gosh. What's happening here? No bad. Give me a minute. Okay, give me a minute because I don't have it. I, I thought I got it, but I don't have it. Just give me a minute. Because I need to fix something because I thought I got it, but that's not it. Okay, just give me a minute, please. Because this seems like it's not good. I was expecting the conversation, but it's not there. So I need to do it really quick. Just give me a minute. So we can practice the conversation. That was the idea. That was the purpose. Okay, here we go, here we go, here we go. Gosh. Okay, give me a minute because we have like an inconvenience. But how did that I fix that thing? Okay. Give me a minute. Okay. Here we go. Here we go. Oh. Oh. Jesus. Okay, here we have this conversation. Okay. Conversation, I'm really hungry. That is the conversation that we have uh, from the video. And the idea is that we can practice. We have a Steve and we have mom. A typical conversation at home, right? Look at the picture, right? Hi, mom. What are you doing, Steve? I'm cooking. What are you cooking now? Two o'clock in the morning. Well, I'm really hungry. What are you making? Pizza. Mmm, pizza. Now I'm getting hungry. Let's eat. Okay, so if you see the questions that we have here, what are you doing, is basically about the action that is happening at the moment. Okay, so aquí tenemos a mom, and she gets a steel, right? And, and she sees her. Pues lo ve y le dice, hey, what are you doing? Okay, it says, well, I'm cooking. Okay, so luego es, why? Are you cooking now? 
What are you cooking now? Yes. And then we have another question. So we have three questions. What are you making? What are you making, right? So everything that is happening in the picture is happening at the moment, okay? And you could carry more business un poquito, por ejemplo, ¿qué hacen ustedes right now? What are you doing right now? Yes. Y ya habíamos hablado, as far as I remember. Por ejemplo, si me equivoco, right? But I think ya habíamos hablado, oh, I'm, I'm listening, yeah. I'm paying attention, I'm watching, I'm hearing, I'm sitting, I am writing, I am taking notes, right? So again, the present continuous, el primera forma de ocuparlo es to communicate lo que está pasando at the moment, okay? Entonces tenemos la siempre cuestión, what are you doing? Mm -hmm. Yes, what are you doing? The typical question, right? What are you doing? Uh, y luego podemos decir el name or, or I don't know. Yes, so this is the way we're going to do it. Vamos a pedirle a Ana y a Stephanie. Ana, usted va a ser Steve and Stephanie, you are mom. Ana Cáceres. Okay, Ana, ready? Let's begin. Yo, Steven. Yes, Steve. Hi, mom. What are you doing, Steve? I'm cooking. We are sure cooking now. It's 2 o'clock in the morning. Well, I'm really hungry. What are you making? Pizza. Mm, pizza. No, I getting hungry. Let's eat. Okay, very good. Thank you so much. Right. So, what are you doing? And why? Why are you cooking now? Why are you cooking now? Why? Right? Yes. Griselda, thank you so much. Ahorita voy a poder me conectar por motivos de señal. Okay, Griselda, no problem. Thank you. No, gracias. Perfect, perfect. Nice to have you. Nice to have you. Okay, so this is the simple way. Okay, hay una cosa hermosa en inglés que se llaman questions. Okay, yes. Ahora, ahorita solo estamos hablando acerca de, pues, two, two people, right? So what are you doing? Okay, why are you cooking? Okay, what are you making? Okay, this is about just you. And we're using with R. No se olvide del verb to be with this one. Okay. Let me get the next one. Here we have some spelling rooms. Okay. Um, last class, one of your partners me preguntó, mire las spelling rooms. Bueno, estas son y son difficult. Okay. A la mayoría solo les agregamos ING. Yes. Por ejemplo, eating, going, reading. Yes. Aquí tenemos knowing, fixing, playing. Aquí tenemos unos, que con, ten, unos verbos que terminan en letter E. Terminan en letter E, le borramos la letter E y le agregamos ING. So, dancing, riding, and writing. Yes. Estos de acá que terminan con E, I'm sorry, I and E, letter I and E, pues le quitamos estas dos, le agregamos la letter Y y luego ING. So we say die, dying, fly, lying, die, dying. Ok. Con estos que están acá, en esta blue, let's say square, um, si sí es un poquito complicated porque se nos olvida. Right? Uh, lo fácil que está, pues, es que no son too many, no son muchos. Let's have a few of them. A few of them that we have here. So, uh, be careful. Also, we have this one. Okay? Tenemos la rule. Consonant, vowel, consonant. Consonant, vowel, consonant. Consonant, vowel, consonant. Consonant, vowel, consonant. Solo es one syllable. One syllable. Le duplicamos la consonant. Cutting, running, stopping. Tenemos also swimming. That's another one that we can have. Yes. Just be careful with those. 
Also tenemos consonant, vowel, plus, letter R. Aquí tenemos equal, yes, travel, and control. Okay? So this one, we have the spelling. Double the last consonant. This is like British. Pero in English, American English from the U.S., pues a veces usted lo va a encontrar sin, sin esa doble L. Okay? Just, just keep in mind, though. So you can have it. Wow. Here we have last syllable is not stressed. Porque la última sílaba is not stressed. El estrés va en la first one. Okay? Pues como va en la first one, no le hacemos nada. Solo le agregamos ing. Happen, happening, open, opening. Visit, visit it. And then we're going to have que la última sílaba si sí es stress. We have a stress in the last syllable. O hay entonación. In those ones, pues le duplicamos la last consonant. Begin, beginning. Forget, forget it. Submit, submit it. Okay? So, these rules son como dolor de cabeza sometimes. Por eso sometimes no me gusta explicarlas too much. Porque, for me, la mejor forma de aprender esto es usándolo. Yes. Cuando usted utilice, por ejemplo, a catch, uh, oh, tengo que agregarle doble T, right? Run, running, tengo que agregarle doble N. Stop, stopping, yes. Begin, beginning, forget, forgetting, submit, submitting. Okay. Um, yes. So just, for me, the best way to learn this one is using it. Estos verbos que están acá, I'm sorry. Todos estos verbos que están acá son comunes. So my recommendation, again, again, my recommendation, aprendaselos. Yes, right? ¿Por qué? Porque los utilizamos a lot. Todos los días usted, mire, pupusas, right? Every day you eat. Yes, you eat. Todos los días you go for las tortillas, right? So you go for las tortillas every day. Okay, entonces vienen y le dicen, hey, ¿dónde está? ¿Dónde está tu brother, boss? Oh, he's going for las tortillas, right? He's going for las tortillas. Yes. Read. Todos los días, we read. Yes. Right? Entonces le preguntan, hey, what is Anna Cáceres doing? Oh, she's reading the Bible. Yes. Or she's reading a book. I don't know. Yes. Todos los días, we read. Yes. It's no, well, aquí sí, I'm sorry. It's not a sábado, right? We don't have a so in the sábado, I'm sorry. Fix, maybe sometimes fix computer, play also is another one. Play, uh, dance, yes, we dance, right? Ride a bicycle, maybe. Ride, okay, the señor las tortillas todos los días, ride, Jordan, right? Sí, frijol con queso. Tying, este sí, solo una vez en la vida nos toca, right? Okay. <laughs> Just one. Pero a veces decimos la expresión undying. I'm dying, okay? Yes, after the I'm dying, okay? So, oh, que significa como que. Okay. Así la expresión que siempre tenemos. Hey, me estás matando. Okay, como estoy muriendo, right? Ricardo? No, perdón, 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 perdón. Thank you, que me dio receso ahí. Okay, so, let's we are. Lying es como el Pinocchio. Aquí es como Pinocchio, okay? Lying. And tie. Tie es como, por ejemplo, cuando hay un partido, es, es tie cuando quedan empatados. Ok, es tie. Y luego aquí tenemos cut, run, stop. Entonces, todos estos verbos son common verbs. Ok, so my recommendation, again, is, is like trying to learn them as much as possible. Tenemos otro, como el título que teníamos, que es double edge questions. Ok, estas preguntas solo son, pues, estas palabras, just to make questions. Solo para hacer questions. Para eso sirven, right? No sirven para nada más, solo para hacer questions. Entonces, who, ya habíamos hablado que era, is for people, right? Que se va a preguntar, hey, who is your brother? Who is your boyfriend? Who is your father? Who is your mother? Who is your best friend? Who is your colleague? Who is your fiancé? Who is, I don't know. Yes? Siempre que le pregunten who is, porque va a dar la respuesta de un humano, by the person. What is a thing or an action? Okay? 
a typical question. What is your name? What is your name? What are you doing? Mm -hmm. What is your favorite food? What is your favorite color? What do you think about music? What is your opinion about reggaeton? Yes. So, it is for a thing or an action. Okay. Okay. When is, look at the clock, right? Look at the clock. It's these parts of the day. So that means it's with a time. When is the meeting? When do you start work? When, I don't know, is the wedding? When is, I don't know, the birthday party? Where, ya lo habíamos hablado que era para places. Okay, so where is Xiomara? Where is Xiomara? Mm -hmm. Where is Xiomara? Barrera de Rivera. Where is Xiomara? Entonces, este es para place. Entonces, cuando Xiomara le pregunten, where is Xiomara? Pues, tiene que darme un place. Ya sea San Salvador, Santa Ana, Soyapango. Yes, right? Because it's a place, okay? And then we have why. Why is for reason. Si yo le pregunto a veces, are you happy? Y usted me dice no, pues yo le voy a decir why. Yes? Why? Por qué, right? Why are you not happy today? Mm -hmm. Well, I don't know. Maybe you have a headache. Maybe you are tired. Maybe you are sick. Right? Different reasons. Okay. And how is about a number or the way something is done. Okay. For example, yo le pregunto, how are you? How are you today? Y usted me dice, I'm perfect. I'm good. Okay. O también le puedo preguntar, hey, how do you cook dinner? How do you get to the hospital? How do you fix your computer? How do you open PowerPoint? How do you? Okay. So, estas son las tampas questions. Yes. Y aquí tenemos la estructura. Y es la estructura de siempre, right? What va al principio, luego el verb to be, luego el pronoun y luego el verb. Aquí, here, tenemos la típica cuestión because of the lesson. En la lesson hemos estado hablando acerca de clothes. Yes, acerca de clothes. So, here we have wearing. What is Andrea wearing? Okay, what is Carlos wearing? What is Hugo wearing? Okay, ahora yo aquí le puedo ir cambiando el verb if I want to. Yes, what is, I don't know, he, I don't know, uh, let's say, we can say doing, okay, uh, we can say eating, okay, so yo le puedo ir cambiando el verb. Yes, uh huh. So, es la hora del lunch. Yo pregunto, hey, what is Hugo eating? Okay, he's eating a big pizza, right? Right? So, everything that I'm talking about here is about present continuous action that is happening at the moment. Yo puedo preguntar, what is Oswaldo wearing? What are you wearing, Oswaldo? I listen the class. Oh no, I'm sorry. What are you wearing? Wearing. Mm. Mira la respuesta que tengo acá. Yes. I am wearing uh back the no, I am wearing. Um, short. I'm sure. Shorts. I'm wearing shorts. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What else? I'm um, sure. Very good. And a shirt, right? Or t-shirt if you want. Very good. Sure. Okay. So this is the way I use this one. Okay. 
The idea again is to talk about clouds because that's the vocabulary we have. Okay. So okay. let me ask to a girl, Jancy Stephanie Alvarado. Hello, Jancy. Good evening. Welcome. welcome. Question for you. What are you wearing? I am wearing Jancy, hello. Hello. Yes, what what are you wearing? Entiende la question? Sí. Okay, okay. Entonces, usted. Uh, uh, que yo soy en clase. I am wearing blouse. Very good, um, a blouse. A blouse, very good. Yes, ahí vamos, very good. I am wearing blouse, okay. Yes, so, thank you so much. Hugo, what about you, Hugo? What are you wearing? I am wearing t-shirt white. Primero el color y después el, el objeto, okay? Okay, white t-shirt. Exactly, right, very good. So, this is the way we do it now. Oh my gosh, thank okay. you. Oh, sharing. Okay, let's check this. Let's check this one. Okay. Here we have the question What's Daniel doing? Okay, he's sleeping right now. Okay. Hmm. What about the next picture, Pedro? This picture here. Leame la question y luego la answer, please. What's Leticia doing? It's 6 a.m. So she getting up. Okay, that was very good. Thank you so much. Karina, go for the next picture, please. What are Leah and Irene doing? They're having breakfast. Very good. Thank you so much. Let's go with the next picture. Picture number one, Stephanie. Please read the question and then the answer. What the adult don't? He's, he's going to work. To work. Thank you so much. Ana Marina Cáceres, next picture. Thank you. Okay. What are King and Paul doing? It is now. No. It is noon. It is noon, so they're eating lunch. Very good. Thank you so much. Okay. A great job. Jenny de la Concepción. Jenny Concepción Urbina. Yeah. Esto, thank you. What? Oh, this picture, please. Uh, what? What? Uh, Don, he's working. Very good. Thank you so much. Ricardo. Hello, Ricardo Flores. Good evening. What? ¿Cuál de las tres? Number one. What's Tiago wearing? What's Tiago doing? No, he is going to work. I'm sorry, wearing. What? What's Tiago wearing? Ah, he is wearing his uh, uh, shirt black. Mm -hmm. Ajá, Ricardo. 
He's wearing the shirt white. Yes. He's wearing shoes, uh, sneakers. Oh, this one, Diego? <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. I think you have another Tiago, right? You have another okay. Tiago there. Because this one, no sneakers. I don't see sneakers, okay? <laughs> no sneakers. Ah, no. <laughs> <laughs> okay. See? The yeah. of vocabulary? Mm -hmm. Oswaldo, ¿cómo se dice yeah. en inglés? Uh -huh. Shaker. Sí. Ajá, Ricardo. No, 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 no. Adelante, Osvaldo. Okay. Ajá, Osvaldo. Ahora dice traje. Este tenemos que saberlo, ¿verdad? Right? Like, uh, like, because we're gentlemen, pretty much. Okay. We 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 gotta know how to say this. He's wearing to suit suit suit. A suit. A suit. Very good. He's wearing a suit. <laughs> Yes, he's wearing a suit. <laughs> that is correct. A suit. Yes. That's right. Okay. No sneakers, right, Ricardo? No sneakers, okay? <laughs> so, okay. Very good. Very good. What about uh, the second picture, um, Melissa? What are they wearing? She's wearing a suit, too. She's wearing a light blue blouse. Yeah, who's that? Who's wearing the suit? The girl. She's wearing. Okay. Uh, okay. Kim, Kim. Kim is wearing. Oh, perfect. What, what about the gentleman? And Paul is wearing a light blue shirt and he's wearing he's wearing a a tie. And perfect. And what kind I of tie rayada? How do you say? Uh -huh. I don't know. <laughs> say that one. Yeah, just a tie, just a tie, Melissa. I don't know how to say like, like a multicolor tie, I guess, right? Another question, Melissa. What kind of food are they having? A salad. Is a salad? Yeah. And what is the what is the woman doing? She is calling someone. Calling someone or talking on the phone. Okay. Or talking on the phone. Very good. Thank you so much. Great job. And Hugo, thank you so much, Hugo. This last picture. Okay. Um, tell me, what's the girl wearing? Um, a jacket blue. A blue jacket? A blue jacket, excuse me. Uh, the blouse. Uh, yellow blouse. Very good blouse. Yellow blouse. Okay. Yellow blouse. Mm hmm um, Thank you so much. And I think this is a bag, right? It is a bag. It looks like a bag. Thank you so much, Hugo. Very good. Thank you. Let's continue a little bit of more that we have here. Look at these beautiful faces, right? Happy. Pedro. Ayúdeme, Pedro. Read the question and then the answer, Pedro. Thank you. What's Tamara doing? She's hearing diner right now. Eating, eating dine, dinner. Eating, eating din, dinner. 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 Yes, very good. Oh, one more time, please. One more time, Pedro. What's Tamara doing? She's eating dinner right now. Very good. Thank you so much. And what time is it in the picture, uh, Pedro? Seven p.m. Very good. Thank you so much, Kathy. Hello, Kathy Esther. Kathy Hello, Esther. Teacher. Thank you. Read the question and then the answer, please. What Kent doing? He's checking his message. Thank you so much. And where is Kento? Where is Kento? Kathy. Kathy, hello, Kathy. Hello, hello. <laughs> where, where is Kento? Kento is check the cell phone. 
Oh, okay. Where, se acuerda que where dijimos que era para location, right? Osaka. Ah. Kento is, is in Osaka. Okay, very good. Thank you so much. And what time is it in Osaka? It's 9 p.m. Beautiful. That was very good. Thank you so much. Good job. Stephanie. Thank you, Stephanie. The last picture is for you, Stephanie. Okay. What are you doing? Stephanie? Stephanie Carolina Javier Barrera. Sorry. Uh, <laughs> eh... What are you okay. doing? Mm -hmm. It's... No, eso es cerca de usted. Eso es cerca de usted. What are you doing? ¿Qué estoy haciendo yo ahorita? Yes. Mm, is washing my class. Very good. I am watching. I am watching my class. Okay, one more time. Okay. One more time. I am watching my class. Thank you. And what time is it, Stephanie? Mm, is nine mm, uh, uh -huh. nine Ay, ¿cómo se diría oh it's like quarter quarter to ten it's quarter to ten very good yeah. okay Lo lleva adelantado tres minutos, ¿ok? With two. <laughs> With two minutes. Ok. Very good. Thank you so much, ¿ok? Yes. So this is the way we use this one, ¿ok? This is the way we use this one, ¿ok? It's not something, like, difficult to do it, uh, but um, at the same time, we need to work with the verbs. So let me know a minute, please. Ok. A minute. Okay. Here we go. Here we go. Let's take a look at the following exercise. Okay. The question is, what are they doing? Okay. So we are going to talk about present continuous based on the arms. Okay. So what is he or what is she doing? Mm hmm. Anybody? Cualquiera puede encender su micrófono and tell me. What is he or she doing? She takes the picture. Oh, okay. Almost close, Oswaldo. Almost close. She's taking, she's taking, she's taking. a photograph or a picture, right? She's taking a picture or she's taking a photograph. Yes. Entonces, don't forget the verb to be y no se olvide regarle ING, tanto cuando lo dice, right? So, tiene que sonar. She is take. or she's. And then take. She it. Take. Yes, very good. Vamos al next one. What is he doing? Excuse me. He's calling in the office. He's calling, he's calling in the office. Okay. ¿Qué dice Elda? Tiene la mano levantada. No, tiene que estar levantada. Okay. Okay. Thank you so much. I'm sorry. That's okay. No he's problem. calling telephone. He's, he's calling on the on the telephone. Very good. On he's the calling. telephone. On the telephone. Very good. Yes. Great job. Okay. Uh, another example, Karina, or anybody? He's working. He's working, probably, right? He's working. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. Ninguno de lo que dijeron, right? He's using the computer. He's using the computer, okay? <laughs> All the answers are good, but the, more... <laughs> the one that we have here is he's using the computer. Okay. I'm, I'm sorry for you. Okay. But the sentence were correct. 
the sentence were correct. Yes. And like I dijo Xiomara, right? He's he's um calling on the on the telephone. Yes, that was very good. Okay, very good. Now let's continue. This one is easy. What is he doing? He's cooking. Excuse me. He's cooking. Oh yes, very good. He's cooking. Look at this one. He's cooking, right? Mire, we have some ingredients here. Very good. What about this one? Easy. She's playing. Okay, she's playing tennis. It's badminton, I guess, but we have tennis. Okay, she's playing tennis. Very good. What about this one? Mm -hmm. She's eating. She's eating. She's eating. Your favorite, right? Eating. Look at this one. Mm -hmm. He's eating. He's eating, right? Look at the way he looks happy. Very happy. What about this one? He's playing the baseball. The baseball. Oh, he's playing baseball. He's playing baseball. Okay, he's playing baseball. Very good. Again, mire, bird to be, and the ing. What about this one? He's swimming. Oh, yes, right? He's swimming. Mire, a este le duplicamos la letter N. Mire, este es el verbo original, swim. Y le duplicamos la N. And we have, he's swimming. He's swimming like. It's like Michael Phelps, right? That was the one. Michael Phelps. What about this one? Mm -hmm. He's painting? Beautiful, Yamara. That's good. Yes, that's it. Picasso, right? He's painting. Look at this one. He's painting. Yeah. Wonderful. Very good. What about this one? She's exercising, pero no, sería she's dancing. No, it's not dancing. It's not dancing. Because it's an action. It's an action. Okay. It is related she's to dancing. exercise. That's true. But, cuando tenemos deportes, así donde hacemos rutinas, we say doing. We say doing. Okay? Yes. So, mm -hmm. she's doing gymnastics. Doing gymnastics. Exactly. Por eso tenemos la expresión, I'm doing exercise. Right? Or I'm doing yoga. Yes. Right? So, it's almost like, like a routine or something. Like that. Very good. What about this one? The easiest one. He's playing soccer. Yes. Very good. Like Messi, right? He's playing soccer. This one looks like Messi. Right? Absolutely. <laughs> what about this one? He's fishing. Oh, that was very good. Yeah. Easy. He's fishing. He's fishing, right? He's fishing. Yes. Okay. What about this one? He's reading. He's reading. He's reading. Exactly. Very good. He's reading. Okay. Thank you. Oh, we have these two questions. What do you do every day? And what are you doing now? Bueno, no vamos a contestarla porque esta está un poquito difícil. Okay. Y para meter este es otro topic for not today. Y esta que ya la contestaron, right? What are you doing right now? Very good. So, if you notice, así es como utilizamos esta cosa. Yes. Solo Griselda Estrada, permite. Griselda, Griselda. Ok, Griselda. Ahorita le tomé la tenda. Don't worry. Ok. Um, yes, this is the way we use the present continuous. ¿De qué se refiere el present continuous? Pues lo que hacemos at the moment. Exacto. Yo les comentaba, no sé si fue aquí. Que la forma de practicar en casa, ¿sí? Se ve lo que está haciendo su hija, lo que está haciendo su esposo, lo que está haciendo su esposa. Y llega y le dice, you are cooking dinner. You are mopping the floor. You are washing the dishes. You are, I don't know, um, tidying your room. You are, I don't know, sitting on, on a chair. You are... Okay, so, so you can use these expressions and these verbs. Los verbos que más les recomiendo que se aprendan son los que hacen todos los días, right? 
como comer, eat, listen to music, um, cook, right? wash the dishes, uh, do the laundry, um, also, um, I don't know, mop the floor, like, Driving. rest, like, Driving. Uh, run, exactly, you run every day, also, I don't know, the things that you do every day, esos verbos, Sí les recomiendo que se los aprendan because those are very important and, and we use them a lot, okay? Another example that we can have with present continuous is what are the people doing? Like in the example, what's Matt doing? What's Matt doing? He's swimming. ¿Cómo me quedaría la, la question number two con John and Megan? Anybody? Anybody? ¿Cómo me quedaría la cuestión tú? The singing. Excuse me. No, no, la pregunta cómo me quedaría. What Jones and Megan don't? Okay, me quedaría what is or what are. <laughs> what are, what are. Mm -hmm. Exactly right. What? Are quién era? Sorry. John. John. Okay. John. And mm. Megan. Megan. Very good. Okay. What is? Okay. ¿Y ¿Cuál es la answer? They are shopping. Exactly. They are. But you put it by contraction to get it right. They're shopping. Okay. Shopping. Okay, mean They're shopping. So, igual, este verbo termina, mire. Shop. O, oh, consonant, vowel consonant, so double consonant. Very good. What about the question number three? What are you? Okay. Yes, pero ¿cuál sería el, el, el verbo? What are you doing? Yes, y aquí en la primera me faltó What are Megan and, and perdón, John and Megan doing? Yes, I'm sorry. Siempre en los últimos five minutes of the class. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I, I forgot the thing, okay? I don't know why. What, what, what are you doing? Yes, are you doing? Yeah, I'm, I'm forgetting the things. Yesterday, I'm sorry, but I did have like numbers. I don't know what happened there, but I did like a few mistakes. Okay, so what are you doing? What is the answer? Mm -hmm. I am writing a message. Very good. I'm writing. Writing. Oh my gosh. A message. Okay. Message. Okay. I'm writing a message, right? So, again, if you notice, mira los verbos que tenemos in parentheses, right? Here we have some verb in parentheses, right? Like cook, like watch. Oh, my God. I'm sorry. Okay. So, again, we have cook, watch. Have, a study, a chat, shop, also we have swim. All these verbs that we have here are common verbs. You know what I mean? Verbos comunes que pues de vez en cuando we do that, right? Hacemos esto. Chat, mire, para los que les gusta estar ahí on Facebook, right? Or on Instagram. Chat, right? I chat. Uh, study for a test. Have pizza. Recuerda que les dije cuando tenemos comida utilizamos have. Yes, well, I'm, I'm having a pizza or I'm having dinner or I'm having lunch. Yes, uh, watch a movie. Okay, cook. Todos los días you cook, right? Every day you cook, uh, like breakfast. Avocados. Well, avocados are like done already. But I'm talking about like the salad, right? You put the avocado in the salad so you make something at the end. And this is the way we use the present continuous. Any question? 
Any question about it? Stephanie, is it all clear? Stephanie Carlin. Yes, teacher. Okay. Uh, usted va a empezar. Hazme una pregunta. Utilizando el present continuous, please. Thank you. Ah, oh, pues no, ya no. Oh, my gosh. Okay. 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 Don't worry. Don't worry. We will help you. Okay. Okay. Relax. Calm down. Calm down. Okay. Wait a minute. <laughs> No, puede pedir ayuda. You can say, oh, help me. Uh, or Oswaldo or Melissa. Okay, you can say, you, you, if you want some help, you can. Vamos a empezar con Ricardo, okay? Ricardo, hágame una pregunta con el present continuous, please, Ricardo. Thank you. What are you doing? Oh, okay. Very good. Very good. Okay, so what are you doing? Okay. What are you doing? Okay, so si usted se fija, mira Ricardo, mi grupo, what, y luego la estructura, right? Are, pronombre, and then doing. Very, very good. Yes, Karina. Thank you, Karina. Okay. I'm. No, hágame una cuestión, hágame una cuestión. Present continuous. Okay, don't worry, okay, don't worry. Les voy a dar options, okay? Tenemos las options aquí. Y es, tenemos. Y si decimos, he is watching TV. Oh, that's, no, pero eso es una oración, una oración, ¿sí? Común. Es como que me esté contestando esta de aquí. Yes. Mm -hmm. Entonces, ¿cómo, ¿cómo tendríamos que preguntar, está viendo la televisión? Ah... Um, no, porque la pregunta es, ¿qué estás haciendo? ¿Ok? Ah, ok. Yes. Ahora, eh, le voy a dar opciones. Por ejemplo, vamos a utilizar el verb to be, que es am, is, or are. ¿Ok? Este es el verb to be. También vamos a utilizar los pronouns. Yo puedo decir you, puedo decir he, puedo decir she, puedo decir, I don't know, they. ¿Ok? Okay. Sí. Y pues puedo utilizar las double edge words. ¿Cuáles son las double edge words? Pues las que estuvimos hablando. Voy a borrar este de aquí. Las double edge words son estas que están acá. What? Okay. La primera es what? Oh my gosh. What? Vamos a tratar. Um, vamos a ver esto. Ok. Entonces, Teacher, yes. una pregunta sería, un buen ejemplo es, is he speaking French? Oh, very good, very good, very good. Is, voy a notar aquí, is, he, is he speaking French? French, okay. French, oh my gosh. Yes, very good, yes, very good, David. Entonces, la Podría hacer una pregunta. Eh, she, eh, where she, eh, permítame. Eh, where she eating, eating, which she eating? Para decir, ¿dónde está comiendo ella? Oh, ok, lo que me, le falta ahí es esto, el verb to be. Esto le falta ahí. Esto. She is. Ok, porque me está diciendo where, where, ok. ¿Cuál sería? Is or are? Is. Sería where she. Is she is. Very good. Yes. Ah, okay. Yes. Where is she is. La forma más fácil de hacer preguntas es con el verb to be, así como lo hizo este David, ¿se fijó? De ahí me dijo, ok, is he speaking French? Esta es la forma más fácil de hacer preguntas con el present continuous. Por ejemplo, okay, is, is, I don't know, listening to music. Okay. Esta es la forma más fácil. Is he listening to music? Are they, 
paying attention. Yeah. So, esta es la forma más easy de hacer preguntas con el verb to be because it's happening at the moment. Okay. Sí. Ahora, la, la difficult part tal vez sería cuando utilizamos la de estas. Okay. Porque ahí sí ya tenemos que pues agregarle un poquito de más. Okay. Pero la estructura siempre va a ir igual. Siempre esto que está acá es como que tengamos esto de acá. Yes. Lo único que hacemos es, pues, agregarle esto, ¿sí? Yes? Antes. Right? Ok. Entonces, uh, depende de lo que usted quiera preguntar, pues, así es como lo va a hacer. Right? ¿Sí? Ahora, todas estas cuestiones son de cosas que están pasando at the moment. ¿Sí? Yes? Estamos a, uh, usted tiene que verlo para que esté pasando. O, oh, eso ya me pasó. Oh, my gosh. Ok. I'm going to stop it here because I need to go to uh, bed. Yes. And we will continue working tomorrow. Thank you so much for what being here. What time is this, teacher? Yes. Good night. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Thank you. Good night. Good night, teacher. Good night. Good night. Perfect. Good night, teacher.